Hello everybody, it's Brian from Gluna Gaming, bringing the latest news, gameplay, tutorials, tips and tricks. So without any further ado, let's go! Some ships avoid dangerous encounters with speed, some with stealth and others with maneuverability. The Anvil Hurricane's philosophy is that it should be able to blast anything that gets in its way out of the sky. The Hurricane won't win any races and its electronic signature won't let you sneak behind enemy lines but it features a wide array of fully customizable small bore weapon hardpoints, plus the ability to customize weapon types in several ways. Hurricanes are often used by militia squadrons and private organizations seeking to add a heavy to their lineup. Meet the A4A Hurricane, a fighting spacecraft that packs a deadly punch into a slight fuselage. The spacecraft compensates for its lack of creature comforts with its powerful armament boosting six guns capable of blasting their way through nearly anything. Hurricane pilots have yet to find an enemy shield they can't knock down. Be warned, this ship is not for beginners. Mastering her unique ratio of heavy weapons with little armor requires a particular mix of marksman and dogfighter. Naval pilots serving with Hurricane squadrons have fallen in love with the exclusively offensive design, has served only to further distinguish the flights of six shooters. Standard model Hurricanes currently ship with six K-Bar 11 series broadsword cannons, two gimbaled on the size 4 nose hardpoint and four on the size 3 turret slots, and four FSKI Ignite missiles for the size 3 missile bay hardpoints. We see the Hurricane as a tool for pilots who are excellent at drawing a beat on a target while maintaining the situational awareness to avoid enemy fire. But those that prefer a ship that can take a pounding might find themselves fodder for interceptors. The aggressively designed Hurricane offers dogfighting focused pilots a ship that relies strongly on firepower at the expense of armor. Cassie Airspace originally built the Hurricane in 2607 for the UEE Navy to use in the Second Teverin War. The Teverin Phalanx Shield deck had proven to be so effective the Navy needed a new weapon to try and penetrate their defenses. Designed to capitalize on those critical moments when Phalanx Shields faltered, the Hurricane would unload all its available firepower as quickly as possible. Built intentionally light with power focused on weapons and thrusters, any extra room aboard was dedicated to ammo storage. Unfortunately, by the time the Hurricane was deployed late in the war, it only saw limited action in battle, but left a long-lasting impression on those who flew it. Besides its overpowering offensive capabilities, one of the Hurricane's most distinguishing features is the pilot entry method. The pilot seats deploy from the ship's belly, allowing expedited takeoff procedures when precious seconds count. Supposedly, Anvil used the Hurricane's entry method as inspiration for the Gladiator, so when Anvil won the UEE Navy contract to remake the Hurricane, they upgraded the seat's hydraulic lift to match. Though built for the Second Tavern War, the Hurricane saw limited action late in the conflict and the ship was subsequently decommissioned. However, following a 2871 report that showed the longer a human pilot engaged a Vandal ship, the less likely they were to survive. The ship's focused firepower design, clearly seen in a top-down view, was resurrected by the Navy. 27th century UEE Rear Admiral Denzel Zimmerman famously described the Hurricane as a mobile turret. Every last centimeter of the ship, from its nose-mounted guns to its unique quad-gun turret design, was crafted to make it as offensively devastating as possible. Since the configuration comes at the cost of defensive measures, the ship was given a slimmer profile to make it more difficult to hit. Anvil Aerospace resurrection of the Hurricane was an immediate success for the Navy, within its first week of deployment in the Caliban system in 2878. Hurricane pilots scored an impressive number of confirmed Fandul kills. In 2884, witnesses to the fall of the Caliban claimed the Hurricane played an instrumental role clearing paths to jump points for the evacuation of civilians. Thanks to its enduring speed and devastating arsenal, Hurricanes have become an instrumental part of the UEE Marine Expeditionary Brigades, where pilots rely on hard-hitting tactics to clear the way for planetary assault from ground forces. Argul Dawn came to prominence after a number of daring raids against supply ships destined for Lago in the Nexus system. At carefully selected spots, Hurricanes would ambush a convoy and eliminate support ships before they could retaliate. Argul Dawn's ruthless effectiveness prompted the advocacy to conduct a number of high-risk raids of their Echo 11 headquarters. 
So when will the Hurricane be flight ready? The Hurricane is currently scheduled to become flight ready later this year because it is a smaller spacecraft which uses the existing Anvil design, aesthetics and dogfighting mechanics already tested in the Star Citizen Alpha. We expect it to come online earlier in the pipeline. So on this bombshell I would like to thank everybody for watching this video and hopefully you learned a little bit more about this little spaceship. As soon as we find out more information we will be putting it online and letting you know. So until then, keep healthy, stay safe and live the gamer experience. Bye!